Hi guys, so this is what's going on today. We're going to be t going over a catching drill for football. Um, Mr. Draper is going to be our receiver. I'm going to be the quarterback. Uh, so we're going to have our hands up. Our, our thumb and our index finger are going to make a diamond. And anything that's above the waist, uh, you're going to be using that to catch the ball. If it's below the waist, we're going to put our pinkies together and we're going to spread our fingers out so we have a nice wide area to catch. We want to make sure our hands are very soft. We don't want to be having stiff fingers. Now, one of the mistakes that we see when people are catching is they point their fingers towards the ball and then a lot of times they get their fingers jammed. And so we want our fingers pointing up and out, have them spread open, ready to make the catch. And so in this drill, we're gonna start with balls that are above the waist and Mr. Draper will be catching these balls, okay? Okay. All right, now you see he keeps his eye on the ball, follows it all the way into his hand. So watch his face, watch the ball all the way into his hand. Now, after you do some of the high balls, we're gonna do some of the low balls. So pass to low, okay, you see how Mr. Draper still has his head turning towards the ball, watching the ball. Okay, low ball, get those pinkies together, get that hand open, low ball again, good. All right, now after you do that, and you feel very comfortable doing that, I'm gonna have Mr. Draper face the wall to that side, and he's gonna show you what his hand should look like on the side right there. So if he was running across, the field and the ball came that's where he would catch the ball right there okay so that's just a side view all right so we want to practice catching the ball that direction as well and then he's going to turn around and he will catch the ball other side it's always good to make sure to practice both sides both directions we don't want to ever just be one direction when we're practicing anything. Okay, now, another thing that we can practice, it's a little bit difficult to do this one, but Mr. Draper is gonna turn his back and turn over his shoulder, and I'm going to try and throw it over his shoulder. His hands will be, okay, great. You can see how his hands are gonna be, all right? So, he's gonna practice catching the ball over his shoulder, all right? Again, very important to be watching the ball in, okay? Watching the ball all the way in to his hand, okay? All right, all right, okay, so then we did that side. We definitely wanna practice the other side as well. Turn around all the way, you're back to me, Mr. Draper. There you go, over the shoulder, over the shoulder, there we go. Okay, Mr. Mr. Draper, good job, I like it. All right, so we got, we're gonna practice all facets of the catch. And now the last one that we're gonna do is Mr. Draper is going to turn around. When I say go, he's gonna turn quickly and look for the ball and catch the ball, okay? Go. All right, good. Good, go. All right, good. Go. All right, good, so that Got to be able to react. Go. Good. Now, that was a high one, and you saw how his eyes went up. His head went towards the ball to keep his eyes on the ball. Okay, always very good to make sure you do that. Ready? Go. All right, okay. So those are some basic drills that you can do for practicing the football catch. Remember to give your hands in a diamond have your fingers pointing up and out. We don't wanna have our fingers pointing towards the ball. We don't want them getting hit with the ball when they're coming to you. When we're down low, make sure we have our pinkies together, okay? Eyes on the ball, follow it all the way into your hands. If you watch even the pros, if there's ever a drop football, it's usually because they took their eyes off the ball, ready to run before they caught it. So always make sure you catch the ball before you make any type of move to run with it. All right guys, practice this and you guys are gonna do awesome.